Hi, thank you for watching Digging to China. I'm Dong Xiong. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Fufeng Group is the largest private-owned MSG producer in mainland China. Its products include flavor enhancers, xanthan gum, fertilizer, the starch, and a sugar substitute. Its headquarters are in the Shandong province. The company was listed on Hong Kong Stock Exchange on February 8, 2007. In 2022, Fufeng USA, a subsidiary of Fufeng Group, purchased a parcel of farmland in Grand Forks for $2.6 million. The land was purchased for the construction of a wet corn mill, which will extract ingredients for animal feed sold in North America. Fufeng Group said it is planning to use the land to build a $700 million corn milling plant that would create at least 200 jobs as well as residual opportunities for logistic, trucking, and other services. But U.S. military officials are raising the alarm. Senior Air Force officers circulated a memo in April warning that the presence of Fufeng Group in Grand Forks, a town of just 60,000 people, was a national security threat. U.S. Air Force Major Jeremy Fox wrote in the memo, some of the most sensitive elements of Grand Forks exist with the digital uplinks and the downlinks inherent with unmanned air system and their interaction with the space-based assets. The concerns about national security have reached Capitol Hill. The plant is a 20-minute drive from an Air Force base that hosts a space mission that will form the backbone of U.S. military communications across the globe. A group of Republican senators were alarmed by such a purchase. On July 14th, Florida Senator Marco Rubio, North Dakota Senators Kevin Kramer and John Hoven wrote a letter and urged Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin to ensure the purchase was screened by the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States. This committee, CFIUS, reviews foreign investments with national security implications. This property is approximately 12 miles from Grand Forks Air Force Base, which has led to concern that the Fufeng operations could provide cover for People's Republic of China surveillance or interference with the missions located at that installation. Given Fufeng Group's reported ties to the Chinese Communist Party. The letter read Fufeng Group's chairman is Li Xue Chun, a member of the CCP and was in regular attendance at the party functions in Shandong, where its headquarters are located. Like many other heads of major firms in China, Li pledged loyalty to China's ruling party in exchange of blessing he relies for smooth uh, business operations. Senator Rubio is a vice chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee. He also is a fierce critic of Chinese communist regime. Senator Rubio is particularly skeptical when it comes to China's economic influence in the U.S. After decades of engagement, the U.S. and China developed a mutual dependence and possibly the most important trading relationship in the world. Rubio is not alone. The committee's Democratic chairman, Virginia Senator Mark Warner, agrees with Rubio's assessment. In early July, Senator Warner told CNBC, the Senate Intelligence Committee has been loudly sounding the alarm about the counterintelligence threat posed by the PRC. We should be seriously concerned about Chinese investment in locations close to sensitive sites such as military bases around the U.S. The deal shouldn't have taken the federal government by surprise. In the last decade, Chinese ownership of U.S. farmland increased more than 20-fold, from $81 million in 2010 to $1.8 billion in 2020, according to the U.S. Department of Agricultural Data. Majority of these farmland purchases were backed by Chinese government. 
In 2013, Bank of China loaned $4 billion to Hong Kong headquartered WH Group, the world's largest pork producer, to buy Virginia's Smithfield Foods. WH now controls much of the U.S. pork supply and revenue because of the deal. Then there is the problem of complex corporate structures that help Chinese investors obscure ownership and evade scrutiny. One Chinese billionaire, Sun Guangxing, invested an estimated $110 million in Texas farmland. He planned to build a wind turbine farm on a 15,000-acre Valverde County parcel that could give him access to the Texas electricity grid. There isn't much in Valverde County besides Laughlin Air Force Base. Mr. Sun's company GH America received $163,000 in Paycheck Protection Program loans during the pandemic. We don't know the full extent of Chinese investment in American farmland. Government transparency on these investments falls short of basic standards. Farm sales are disclosed under a 1978 law called Agricultural Foreign Investment Disclosure Act, or AFIDA, which requires investors in American farmland to report property purchases to the USDA. Until a few months ago, USDA's online reports went back only as far as 2004, and data required a special software to extract. Information on older purchases could be only obtained through Freedom of Information Act requests. Officials have admitted that they don't reveal filings related to foreign purchases of American farmland, and the data on such transactions contain errors. The case of Fufeng USA is a symptom of the intense U.S.-China rivalry, and it has trickled down to local communities in American farm country, where distrust in China is equally strong. It's the outcome of consistent U.S. government messaging about China as America's greatest systemic challenge this century and the next. The competition playing out in every realm from global governance and trade to high technology and military capabilities. Liu Pengyu, a spokesperson for the Chinese embassy in Washington, D.C., said, China always opposes the U.S. generalization of the concept of national security and abuse of state power. I would say, look in the mirror. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button right here. I'll see you again shortly. Until then, be well.